Furman. Here we go on ESPN with the lessons learned from his rookie season tucked safely away in his back pocket. Young Byron Leftwich hopes to have his club pointed towards a playoff berth. Jaguars, Texans. Now! The fans are finding their way to their seats, uh, those who really own those seats, as we get set to begin this exciting game. Hello, I'm Dan Stevens, and welcome to Reliant Stadium. By my side is my colleague, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, who do you have your eye on as we get set to start this game? Well, at the moment, I'm watching the sidelines, and I know one guy who wants a win to start the season outright. He's one of those players who can change the whole complexion of a game. We'll see how his game plan unfolds once we get started, but first, the toss of the coin. Number 10, kicking off for the Jaguars. The ref gets the signal, and it's we're set. Kicks in football! Scobie kicks it off to begin the game. Garner downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Texans get their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Smith will get stopped Antoine at the line, Smith, and the that brings carrier. up second down. Marcus Stroud Peter, unfortunately, we've had some players banged up so far. Unfortunately so. Well, those are some big setbacks up there, but unfortunately, this is to be expected. Players can't spend time worrying about whether they'll get injured. They just have to go out there, play hard, and hope for the best. I'm all over you, second and nine. Ball at the Texans, 21-yard line. Smith gets the call again and picks up a couple. Antoine Smith powered forward with the football thanks to some initial blocking. Problem was they couldn't keep that push going for very long. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Third down, seven yards to go. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground, and it's Wayne incomplete. Corbett Fourth down receiver. coming up. Wayne Corbett had that ball coverage. in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. Third and long, they have a chance, but it's incomplete. Those are the situations where you want someone to step up and make a play. But no one did, and it will now be fourth down. Stanley lines up to punt after the three and out. Stanley takes the long snap and punts it away. Mathis fields the punt at the 39. Dragged down at the 45. Rasheen Mathis didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Jaguars will start this drive at their 45-yard line. Second down, three wide outs in the game. Ball at the Jaguars, 45-yard line. Leftwich throws a heater and First is caught at the 47. Brought down hard at the 44. First down. First and 10. Ball at the 44-yard line. Bring up second down. Can we get somebody in here? 
second and nine. Ball at the 43. Taylor gets it again. He searches for a hole. Hammered down at the 41. Fred Taylor played it smart on that last one by following his blockers, but hey, they weren't able to open up any holes for him. Third down from the shotgun. First Makes the Jaguar. nice catch, and they get the first on third and long. Byron Leftwich made a nice throw there. Got it right past the defender. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love First it. That's what 10. football is all about, making all the big plays three. when you need to, and you can't coach that. Well, check it out. He's now up over 1,000 yards for the season. Williams goes in motion. <laughs> Leftwich gets some air under this pass. It's caught First at the down, three. Jaguar. The ball's loose. I love watching great plays like this again. It's great the first time around, but it's really sweet on the replay. Oh, I just can't get enough of this action. What a tremendous display of athleticism. First and goal. Ball at the one. Touchdown, Jaguar. Well, this is a nice run, Dan. Gets all the yards he needs. Not a huge quantity of yardage, but definitely some quality yardage, Peter. Absolutely. Great play. Peter, he gets the touchdown, and there is no better way to cap off a play than like that. Yeah, nothing better than points, Dano. Here's the point after, the and point is good. it's good. Come on. There's the signal, and we're ready. Scobie kicks this one away. Charlie Garner took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. Texans stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 22-yard line. Smith gets the call on the first down and gets past the line. Tackled at the 24. Mike Peterson with the tackle. Antoine Smith used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were you know, hoping for more. Second down, tight end to the left. Johnson pulls it down right Texas. side, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Andre Johnson has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. And Peter, that play doesn't get off the ground unless he runs a very precise and round. Ten. And he had to to beat his all man. A couple yards. of the best banging heads there. Carr <laughs> throws a lob here, and it is not Passes reeled in. Incomplete. Eric Moore David Carr was, was really receiver. rolling the dice there by throwing Number into double coverage. The you know, they might have picked him off there. Potential for some nice yards, but it falls second incomplete. That will bring up Ball second down. Line. Rip, rip, down. Bring Azuma makes That's a play on this and forces the Jerry incompletion. With the deflection. Jerry Azuma got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. Right. 
Third down, Third one ten. man back. back. Ball at the 46 yard line. Carr really rifles this pass, and pass it's incomplete. tipped. Incomplete. Donovan that Darius will bring up fourth down. Donovan Darius swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. Well, the knee holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Stanley gets the ball and punts it away. Mathis fair catches it at the 17. The Jaguars had an effective first drive, and we'll see if they can keep it up. They'll start at their own 18-yard line. Punches this one left to center and picks up a couple. Second down Second with the tight seven. end right. Ball at the Jaguars, 20-yard line. Taylor picks up the yard on the play, and that brings up third down. Fred Taylor played it smart on that last one by following his blockers, but, hey, they weren't able to open up any point. holes for him. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The Jaguars are out in front, seven to nothing. Rifles it out left side, and they get the first on third and long. Terry Jones had three guys covering him on this play, and he still made the catch. I don't know if it was a good effort by him or a bad one by the defense. It could have been both. Oh, it's hard to believe that play worked. A nice game, and they easily convert on third down. Yeah, that was a good call. Didn't Passes haul that complete. one in, and it falls incomplete. Was the intended receiver. Dunter Robinson closed in Number from the zone and forced the, the incompletion. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Second down, second two ten. wideouts on the field. Ball to Jaguars, 36-yard line. It's complete at the 43. Byron Leftwich threaded the ball back there to his men. Right past all that traffic. Good job. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play for this drive. Yeah, now, Dan, they can just fall forward and make the play. Sounds easy, Peter, but we'll see if they can pull it off. <laughs> And it falls incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Hanson lines up for the punt. Hanson takes the long snap and punts it away. Catches it at the 15. Tackled at the 19. Dunter Robinson didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Texans have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 19-yard line. Dan, bunch of receivers out there. Defense is expecting that, and they go to Nick. <laughs> To the left and as well past the markers for a first down. Eric Moles has three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. That's broken kind of a cold streak for him. The last two passes his way were incomplete. Yeah, let's see if he stays on track. Looks like he broke the 6,000-yard barrier. What a heck of a play. Yeah. <laughs> 
Cousin tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Complete. Terry Cousin Terry not only Cousin cleaned the ball the carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it, too. Big hit for a loss. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. And he's got the first down and a whole lot more. David Carr lays this one in beautifully. Got to see it one more time. Right on the money, Peter. He effectively rendered the defense irrelevant by being so accurate. Yeah, they might as well have been 10 yards away. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. Carr fires incomplete. this one over the middle, Number and it's tipped with the incomplete. Daryl Smith managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring second up second down. Ball at the 42-yard line. Azuma tips Passes it away on the coverage. Incomplete. Terry Azuma with the deflection. David Carr has had a number of pass attempts, and we've seen that his guys are out there running their routes and trying to make plays. He would like to do a little bit more, however. So far, he's got 69 yards and no touchdowns. Let's stop him here. Third and ten. Keep him out of field goal range, All baby. All the 42-yard line. Good, good, good. Carr throws a high, long one to the right, and Passes it's tipped. Incomplete. incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Donovan Darius knocked that pass down, and he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. That is their fourth batted ball. Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. But we'll see if they can keep it up, though. Stanley gets ready to punt this away. Stanley gets the snap and punts it away. This will fly out of bounds at the 13. Chad Stanley did a good job angling the punt out of bounds, so the offense will start off stuck inside the 20. The Jaguars are looking for some separation before half and will start this drive at their own 13-yard line. Leftwich throws a big rainbow here, and the big catch is made with daylight in front of him. 20, 10, touchdown, and Jaguar. touchdown! <laughs> Terry Jones fights for every inch of turf he can get. Watch here as he makes the catch. Right there, and then he runs for a few more. Classic overachiever, not unlike myself. Uh-huh. The balls are coming his way in the middle, and he's making them pay. You have to like his performance so far. Well, Dan, I like any receiver who's willing to go Number over the middle and sacrifice the, the body to make the catch. Chris Hansen holding. <laughs> now the extra point, the extra and point is good. it's good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Scobie booms a beauty here. Garner decides to take it out of the end zone. Brought down at the 23. Charlie Garner took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Texans had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their own 23-yard line. is well past the markers for a first down. 
Wayne Corbett made a fantastic catch in double coverage. Keep getting him the ball, guys. That was little atonement for dropping the ball the last time it was thrown his way, Peter. He definitely made sure that he held on to that one. Yeah, much better focus that time around. Continues to run. Paul Spicer gets a sack in the backfield. The quarterback had nowhere to go on this one. Let's watch. Yep, the D shut the offense down on that play. They couldn't do anything. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Second down to tight ends in the game. Smith picks up Antoine a yard Smith on the play, the and carrier. that will bring up third down. Antoine Smith used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Rips him down in the backfield, and that takes them even farther away from the markers. It'll be fourth down. Stanley gets ready to punt this away. Stanley takes the snap and punts it away. Fields to punt at the 18. Stopped at the 20. Rasheen Mathis didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Jaguars come out on the field and they're looking to extend their lead before halftime. They'll start at their own 20-yard line. Has his number called on first down and picks up a couple. Second down, one man back. Ball at the Jaguars, 22-yard line. And that will bring up first down. First down, Jaguar. Oh, no nice gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. First and 10. Ball at the Jaguars, 30 yard line. <laughs> Takes it across the line and rambles for about five. Okay, fellas, we went over this all week in practice. Now we're going to get it this time. Now we're going to go just like it is. We're going to execute, okay. we're going to stay strong, and we're going to get to the spots we need to. Okay, okay fellas? And that'll do it for That's the first the half of, of this one. Quarter. The Jaguars enjoying the lead 14 to nothing. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN halftime. Report. Boomer? All right, Dan. Interesting game at the half. We'll get back to you guys in a bit. First, we welcome everybody to our ESPN Halftime Report. I'm Chris Berman. We'll look at our halftime stats here, and boy, look at the difference in passing yards. The Jaguars are winning because of it. Let's see if they can keep up their dominance in the second half. We'll pick up the action midway through the first quarter. Fred Taylor got the carry here, and he comes through. Touchdown for the Jaguars. The Jaguars strike first and go up by seven. Texans end of the first quarter. Andre Johnson is going to find himself on the receiving end of this one as he works his way open for the big play. The Jags now early in the second quarter. Jags winning by seven. Byron Leftwich connected with his man on this one. Texans later in the second. David Carr would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. Texans down seven to nothing. Perry Jones was definitely a key as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. An 87 yard touchdown for the Jaguars. The Jaguars now up by 14. Texans midway through the second. David Carr connected with his man on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Texans are down at the half 14 to nothing. 
Today's halftime hero has turned in an incredible performance thus far. Terry Jones has been unstoppable. So that does it for our halftime report. We'll send you back now to the second half of this one. Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe are there. Gentlemen. Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Jaguars get the ball first this half, and another Chris score Brown by them could really the open up this game. They currently lead 14 to nothing. Now let's get to the game. Tofield fields it all the way back at the one. Breaks a tackle. Tackle at the 26. Either interesting order to the division, isn't there? Oh, you bet. Susie Culber is down on the field and has some information for us. Susie? Thanks, Dan. Head coach Jack Del Rio Third gave me a moment to speak to him at halftime. He's been thrilled with their defensive execution, saying we've shut them out defensively and our offense has been taking care of business. We can't get cocky. We just have to keep after it and give them no chance to come back on us. Back to you, guys. Susie, thank you. Leftwich throws a beauty to the right side, and it falls incomplete. Second and ten. Ball at the Jaguars, 26-yard line. Taylor gets the hand off and heads left. Weaver rushes him behind the line at the 24-yard line. Anthony Weaver not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it, too. Big hit for a loss. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up the third and long. Leftwich throws a bullet here, and it falls incomplete. Pass interference, number 53, defense. The ball is placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. Number 53 gets a little too physical with his man here. As you can see, he gets the flag for it, too. Yeah, that's a good pass interference call. He was all over that receiver. First and 10. Ball at the Jaguars, 41-yard line. Brady goes in motion. Takes it with a lemon carry and takes it upfield. Tackled the at the 45. Number 98 with the tackle. Second and six. Ball at the Jaguars, 45 yard line. Just right for this one, down, and Jaguar. the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Oh, look first there, 150-plus receiving yards. He's been making plays all game long. Taylor gets the ball on first down, and will end up losing a couple. Number 53 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That will be his fourth tackle of the contest. <laughs> Leftwich lobs this one way over the middle and it's intercepted. Perfect positioning back there to get the interception. Heck of a defensive play. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. 
The Texans' offense is now on the field, and except for a few big plays, they really can't be happy with their passing game up to this point. We'll see what they call on this drive as they start at their own 25-yard line. This one will fall incomplete. Eric Moles had a chance for a mid-range completion back there, but he just couldn't connect. No catch. That's two drops by one of the more sure-handed receivers in the game. Wow. It's not often you see him out of sync like this. Second down with two tight ends to the right. Carr zips it to the left sideline. Anderson's car just barely past the markers for a first. David Carr knows how to spread the ball around, as you can see by this passing chart. He's getting the ball into his receiver's hands and has piled up 94 yards and no touchdowns. right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. Second down, Second both down wide outs to the right. Ball at the 45. Hudson grabs the rope right side down, and gets Texan. past the markers for a first down. David Carr lived dangerously on that play with a pass into double coverage, but the throw was on target. What a pass. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. Down. Andre Johnson is in man-to-man -man coverage on this play and makes the most of it. Let's take a look. Oh, that's a great catch. That guy has real skills. Another great catch. And Peter, he's been working that right side of the field with good success. Yeah, it looks like he's found a weakness and uh, he's going to exploit it. Darius tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Donovan Darius, Donovan Darius was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Carr rifles it out left side, and it's off is incomplete, incomplete. With the deflection. Third and ten. Ball at the 24-yard line. Smith rips down the line and it is at the 25. Left down at the 22. Peterson will be credited with the tackle. That will bring up fourth down. Mike Peterson brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some game there, but not enough for the first. That's his second tackle so far. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Brown kicks from 39 yards out and has it sailed just left of the upright. Chris Brown muffs a kick here that's not a shorty, but isn't that long either. Boy, that has got to rattle him. Oh, poor guy. I think what he really needs is a big hug. Yeah, maybe a new foot. <laughs> if he's not careful, a new jersey. 
The Jaguars were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 30-yard line. Catches the bullet out left and is well past the markers for a first down. And that'll do it for the third the quarter. The, the Jaguars quarter. enjoying the lead 14 to nothing. Close to six. Second and four. Ball at the 47. Taylor gets the call on second down and heads wide left. Breaks the tackle. Eventually runs out of bounds at the 22. It will be first down. Fred Taylor makes a great play here. Picks up some huge yards. Takes it to the outside. Then eventually runs out of bounds. Check it out. Nice play. He got what he needed and then he headed for the sidelines. Finally, he gets the big run that he's been looking for all game. For the first three quarters, he, well, his stats were very quiet, to say the least. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, they were so quiet, you could hear crickets chirping when you looked at him. First down with the tight end right. Taylor goes right up the middle and picks up a couple. Fred Taylor had some blocking help on that last one, but he was still left with nowhere to go. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Ball up the 20-yard line. The defense didn't budge on that play, and they force a fourth down. Fourth down, three yards to go. Scobie kicks it from 32 yards and just makes it inside the left upright. Josh Scobie gets the field goal, but watch how close the ball gets to the upright. Man, a few more inches and he'd have made the highlight reel. Not the way he would have wanted to, though. For the first time today, they leave the red zone with Number only 10, a field goal to show Jaguars. for it. You know, overall, Dan, the defense has to be happy with how that one played out. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Scobie rockets this one deep. Garner decides to take it out of the end zone. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. But punting is not going to win you a game. Although it looks like they are trying to do that, they need to put a drive together and get into the end zone. Charlie Garner took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the watch on that play. The Texans' offense comes out, and they are way down late in the game. They'll need some magic as they start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Johnson bobbles and drops it incomplete. Number Andre Johnson the had that ball receiver. in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. That's his first drop, and it is not often you see that from him. No, normally he's pretty sure-handed there. 
Second down and four wideouts in the game. 20 yard line. Carr uncorks this to the left sideline and it's Passes tipped. Incomplete. incomplete. Peter, unfortunately, we've had deflection. some players banged up so far. Unfortunately so. Well, we've got some notable injuries this season. Teams are doing their best to put their best team on the field each week, but the injuries are piling up. There's no avoiding it. The key is to have depth in your roster and just hope for the best. Ken Irvin couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. You know, as a team, they are batting down passes left and right. Third that and is ten. their sixth so far. Oh, wow, great anticipation of the pass. Smith pitches it over the middle, and he's well short of the marker. That will bring up fourth down. Carr throws this on a rope, and it falls incomplete. incomplete. It will turn the ball over it's on down. Hey, if you check out this replay, you'll find a few examples of how these guys earn their paycheck week in and week out, baby. And hey, there's no better way of earning a paycheck than knocking a few heads down there on the field. The Jaguars offense takes the field. They're in command, and they'll probably look to take time off the clock. They will start at the 21-yard line. Number 86 goes in motion. Taylor picks up about two, and that brings up second down. Fred Taylor got some help on that one in the form of blocking, but he still couldn't make a play out of it. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second down. The clock is stopped at two minutes. Taylor has his number called on second down, and he stopped. The Texans take their first time out. Wow, those are nice stats. Way to carry the ball. We'll get the handoff and searches for a hole. Tack. The Texans will take a timeout. That's their second. Let's get some penetration. Come on, they're running all over you. First and goal. Ball at the five. Yoder goes in motion. Takes this one way out left and gets the touchdown. Man, so I see that, man. I got my head right. I got my head right. Todd Yoder still hauls his man with a brutal block there. Got to take another look. Well, I'll tell you, he's not really uh, very big. He's not huge, but when he stops you, you stay stopped. Yeah, and you feel like you ought to ask his permission before you start again. Another touchdown, and Number this lead is insurmountable with the clock Chris ticking Hansen away. Holding. Domination, Dan. Domination. <laughs> now the point after, the and point is good. it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Scobie booms a beauty here. Garner decides to take it out of the end zone. Craig down at the 23. Johnny Garner got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either.
Texans start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 1.41. <laughs> Texans take a timeout. That's their final one. First down, the clock is stopped at 136. Carr rifles it out left side and First it's down, caught at the Texans. 49. First down, three wideouts in the game. Molds catches Eric it in Molds. the flat, Pass and coming. that will stop the clock. At Eric Molds got out of bounds at the end of the run and wisely stopped the clock. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Let's go, T. Second and eight. Man. Ball at the 48-yard line. Dingle back. Dingle back. Yeah. Yeah. I got him right. <laughs> Carr sips it to the left sideline and it's tipped. Incomplete. incomplete. Number, Number 59. 59. Couldn't have read that play flexion. any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why eight. simply defend the pass ball when you can obliterate it? Third down, one man back. Intercepted. Up hard at the 37. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Rhino, Rhino, Rhino! Two yards on the play. And that is going to do That's it for this one. The Jaguars come out on top, 24 to nothing. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Okay, Dan, thank you very much. And let's welcome all of you back to the studio. I'm Chris Berman here to bring you our ESPN Video Games post-game wrap-up. The Jaguars stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Glenn Earl was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The Texans, after getting an interception, the Texans with the ball at the 40-yard line. David Carr would find his target on this one. The Jags, after a missed field goal, Jags up by 14. Fred Taylor is going to bounce this one to the outside. And look at the execution up front. He's in the clear. They've opened it up now and lead by 17. The Jags again have it. Dorsey, the horse, Levens found a little opening. That was all he needed. A five-yard touchdown for the Jaguars. Jags up 24 to nothing. Deion Grant shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. 
And that's where we'll leave this one. Jag serve up a shutout, 24 to nothing. Now let's check in with our player of the game, a guy who made one big time catch after another to help seal the win for his team. Terry Jones is standing by with our Susie Calvert. Susie? Thanks, Chris. You played brilliantly, and you prevailed with a big victory. What gave you guys the edge today? This was a hard game for us today. Both teams put everything they had into winning. We were fortunate to come up with some big plays down the stretch, and that allowed us to come out on top. Chris, back to you. Well, that just about does it. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time here on ESPN, celebrating 25 years as the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. So long.